One of the things is like when we talk, thought about the two billion number, we, you know, obviously we could see it was tracking. We kind of we were like hoping it would hit just before I/O, which, yeah. it, which it did. You sort of realize how big this thing is, and like how much, in some ways, responsibility we have to make sure that that you know those two billion devices are working well. We really thought foundationally, like, what do we, what can we do that really makes Android awesome? Not for like a product launching in 2017, but really like that really will will sort of stand the test of time over the next five to ten years. And so the two things in that category are sort of vitals, you know, by keeping the, the system healthy and, and, and performing well. And then the second thing was, you know, updates. Android is super interesting in the sense that, you know, if you look at iOS, it's it's an operating system for one product line. Android has to span everything from like a Samsung Galaxy S8, which is a beautiful piece of hardware, all the way down to like a $39 phone, which is you cannot have the same hardware as the $800 phone, just yeah. the economics. And so, you know, for us, we want to make sure that Android cross, you know, runs well across that spectrum. Yeah. And Go is a sort of uh, a focus on, hey, look, let's look at the lower uh, hardware specs and make sure that Android works really well on it. And you're seeing a trend. Like, you see other companies like Facebook has Facebook Lite, right. and even uh, Microsoft has Skype Lite. And, you know, so it's how do we strip down these apps to be the smallest footprint? And we're doing the same thing with the operating system, with Google's first party apps, which are important, making those light, and then making sure the Play Store optimizes and helps users find the light apps. We, we just take smartphones for granted, right? Like, we live our lives on them, but there's, you know, there's still parts of the world that are only just sort of getting smartphones now. And and we wanted to make sure that we were serving those people too, like the next billion users as we call them. Android One was more of a program, right? I think Android Go is more uh, software solution. I think the closest analogy would have been uh, something we call Project Svelte that we did in KitKat. And in Project Svelte, the goal was to reduce, uh, make Android work well in 512 megabytes of RAM. And I think we succeeded that for four or five months and then the problem was that the app sort of got bigger and bigger and kind of blew the budget. And so I think the realization now is like, look, if you want to, if you want to have this lower end, you sort of have to bifurcate a little bit the app experience. And you need to have a set of apps that are designed explicitly to be light versions. Really, it's the set of Google apps that make a huge difference, and then the Play Store are sort of promoting those light apps. So any new devices built with one gig or lower RAM will be the Go configuration gotcha. because we want to ensure that you have a great experience, and we think the Go configuration gets you the, great, the best experience for that category of device. So as a device maker, you get to make all these tweaks, um, and then you, you, when you're licensing Google software, you will get the light bundle of apps yeah, out of the box. Vitals. Vitals. Yeah, yeah. So when, when, yeah, the other way to think about it is, which I'm not sure I truly like this phrase, but it, it's kind of an interesting one, is, is immune system. Like, how do you make the operating system a little bit more immune to accidental? Because by the way, all this is generally accidental. It's right. not. It's not like. Oh, I have a developer. Hey, my goal is to run your battery yeah. down and get one star in the Play Store and <laughs> fail. That's not their goal. Their goal is like build great products. And so, part of this helps developers. And you know, it's one of the things Steph said was that like apps that we, we, we ran some studies, but apps that have high, better health get higher ratings, which get more installs, which can generate more revenue. So it's kind of in everybody's interest. It's a cool project to see, and I'm kind of excited to see how it rolls out. We got a lot of people working on it.